Hello everyone, Steve from Cantu Comics here. Today, I'm going to go over my What If comic collection. And growing up, this was actually one of my favorite ones. Aside from What The. What If is an amazing Marvel comic series that focuses on very major events that happened in the Marvel Universe and just kind of alters it slightly. It's a really, really cool series, uh, especially if you really love some of the main Marvel events, especially the ones that encompass like multiple issues over across different comic series. So right now is a good time to show these off, you know, seeing that Disney Plus just launched What If, and also, you know, Loki basically just set the stage for the multiverse, which basically What If is just showing you different timelines from the multiverse. So let's jump right into my issues. So the first book I want to show you guys, uh, this is from volume one. So this is what if the Avengers had never been. So this is what if volume one, number three. Uh, this is a pretty, pretty big issue for what if, because um, obviously the Avengers, especially with the movies, like they, they basically set the stage for everything. So if they had never even happened, like that's like unfathomable, especially for Disney, then they'd have no money. <laughs> Uh, so basically this story, if I remember correctly, uh, I mean, they obviously, they still, they all know each other and everything. And they were kind of forming as a team, but Hulk just kind of abandoned them and just kind of just like was just doing his own thing. And then when that happens, uh, Thor and uh, Giant Man and Wasp, they're just like, well, we're just going to go back to our other lives. So I think uh, Wasp and Hank Pym, they just become like civilians again, just scientists. Um, at the same time, when Hulk is just like kind of wandering out there, he teams up with Namor and then they start to like, you know, basically they become enemies and um, basically the enemies of the Avengers and all these heroes are trying to just take over. So and they're basically trying to destroy mankind as, as shown here on the cover. And Iron Man is just basically left in the middle. He's like, what the heck guys? <laughs> so you can't quit now. It's like, you know, they're trying to take over the world. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool story. Uh, just to listen to and the cool thing about these what ifs is they, these are really really thick books and they have multiple stories but they just feature the main one uh, here on the cover so the next book that i have is also from volume one but it's number 27 and actually i have two copies of this so kind of leading in from my x-men series with multiple copies it also ties into this because this is x-men related so this is issue number 27 and this is what if phoenix had not died so this is a uh, I mean, if you love X-Men, you know, obviously Jean Grey, you know, she had, she paid the ultimate sacrifice and everything, you know, she had passed away, but, you know, what if she didn't die? What was going to happen with Phoenix and what's going to happen with the X-Men, you know, where other people are going to die? Just, you know, it's really, really incredible. I don't want to give away, you know, any stories of this because I definitely recommend read it. Uh, yeah, I have two copies here, both uh, pretty decent copies. Um, actually, I probably could create these. Uh, this one's really, really nice. You know, I only paid two fifty, two dollars and fifty cents for that one. This one probably, probably similar. But yeah, I mean, I bought them a while ago, so these are probably definitely worth more than two dollars and fifty cents. So yeah, maybe I should grade this one. That's probably maybe a nine. I don't know if I can get a nine for. There's some weird little little scuffs in the edge but you never know cgc is very relaxed these days uh, the other bad thing is that the cover is a little uneven you know that's just printer defect but you know some people just they just like that a lot more in their books uh, yeah and that's this one so another cool book that i have also x-men related so this is uh what if volume one issue number 31 so this is what if wolverine had killed the hulk so everyone knows their iconic uh, first appearance. You know, I went over it in my Wendigo episode. Uh, so if you want to check it out, I'll link it up there. Um, but yeah, basically during that battle, you know, Wolver like they never got to finish, you know, Wolverine could never, he couldn't penetrate his skin and all this. They're just battling back and forth. But what if he actually went for the jugular or something and actually killed him? Like what kind of reper repercussions would Wolverine have gone through? Like, would it be the same Wolverine? Like, would he just become this crazy feral uh, mutant? You know, it's it's a pretty incredible story to see how he could have changed, you know, his life and everything just based off of this kill of the Hulk. So I definitely recommend a read on this one. The next issue, this is actually the last one that I have from volume one, but this is uh, volume one, number 35. And this is what if Electra had lived. 
So again, just kind of going with, um, you know, the Phoenix one, you know, what if she didn't die? Matt Murdock and Electra were, they were very, very close. So, you know, that was a very, very devastating time. And uh, I kind of went over a little bit during that Frank Miller run when, when she died. I mean, he, he had this entire long like stretch of just, you know, drinking and being depressed and angry. So, you know, it affected him a lot. So what if she had lived? I mean, would they have had this really happy life? Would, um, you know, how, how would their lives have changed? And obviously she, they always bring her back in some capacity, you know, in these random books. And even right now she is the new daredevil. So, you know, everything changes all the time, but, um, oh yeah. So this one, I have two copies right here. These are also pretty, pretty nice condition, pretty good books. This one has a bend on it, you know, spent a dollar 75 on it. Pretty, pretty cheap. And there's a little bend down here. Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty nice books. I'm um, not sure on the value of these. Um, but you know, Daredevil is always hot and Electra is so, uh, definitely a, a cool issue to pick up. So my next copy, uh, this is volume two, number 13 of What If. So this is What If Professor X uh, had become the Juggernaut. So yeah, you know, the Juggernaut, normally that's his brother. He really didn't have any powers or anything. Uh, he just got all the super strength of becoming the Juggernaut. But what if Professor X, basically this Omega level mutant, also became the juggernaut like it just is an unstoppable force like he'll just destroy everybody he doesn't care if you're human mutant uh the brotherhood of evil mutants it doesn't matter he would just be a you basically just be the hulk on like roids and he's a telepath one of the most powerful in all the world and probably universe so yeah this is a, also another crazy story i believe this is getting to the 90s yeah 1990 so yeah x-men were pretty big back then so this was this was a pretty Pretty interesting story that people wanted to hear. Because uh, once you start making so many what ifs, you have to, you can't really go on the main timeline anymore. You got to start getting these more um, more obscure stories. Uh, but one cool thing about this issue, I just noticed that this is a Jim Lee cover. So I was kind of looking, I'm like, oh yeah, this is like super 90s. But yeah, uh, Jim Lee, he did the cover for this book. So you might see a theme that I have a lot of Wolverine themes, what if books here. So my next one is volume two, number 24. And this is what if Wolverine became the Lord of the Vampires? So, uh, you know, you see him here, on the, at least on the cover, he's just, he's just sucking away on Jean Grey because he just, he's, she's so irresistible to him. Um, but I think the funny thing on this, is basically uh, Frank Castle, the Punisher, he basically becomes Blade. So he's this vampire hunter looking for Wolverine. So you got more than just Wolverine being the Lord of Vampires, you've got Frank Castle basically become Blade. So uh, another pretty cool, uh, pretty cool book. Um, obviously the story, it's like, yeah, they're, they're, they're really uh, they're really reaching for storylines now at this point. <laughs> um, but yeah, so another cool one. And to continue on with Wolverine, so I have What If Volume 2, number 50. So this is kind of like that other Wolverine book, but this is What If Hulk Had Killed Wolverine. Uh, actually, pretty cool cover. Um, we got, it's like a nice chrome cover. It's also embossed, and you can see Hulk's reflection in his adamantium skull. Pretty, pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I, I don't remember exactly what happened in this story, but it's pretty interesting to see what happens on the other way. So basically on all these timelines, we have what normally happened, which they just fought and then nothing happened. Um, you know, Wolverine took off, went back on the helicopter. Or if, what if Wolverine killed the Hulk? All those repercussions and now, what if Wolverine died from the Hulk? So it's, there, there's so many ways that these stories can go, you know, with just, one, you know, one punch somewhere or just like someone getting, you know, it just kind of shows you how this whole like butterfly effect can happen where just one little thing can just change the entire timeline. So it's one of the really cool things about What If. And right here, it just kind of just shows just at least three of my books, or I'm sorry, two of my books, just show you two basically scenarios of the same situation. So pretty cool. And yeah, I don't remember paying $10 for this book. But uh, I think I might have just swapped this bag. <laughs> uh, but yeah, but in itself, it's actually a really pristine condition. It's probably at least a 9.4, maybe even 9.6. There's zero color breaks, no bends, uh, which is nice because these like thicker covered books are they're easier to stay in nice condition. And the final book that I have is um, Volume Two One If, issue number 57. So this is what if the Punisher had become an agent of Shield. So it's. Uh, 
he would probably fit in, but you know, I guess the storyline would probably mean that Frank Castle didn't lose his family and everything. He didn't have this huge like vengeance. Uh, so he, you know, is a very decorated soldier and everything. So, you know, his life would have been, you know, much, much differently. And seeing the cover here, you know, obviously he's, he's one of the big cheeses. So every single guy looks like these are the dudes in his squad. It says like Punisher on there. So yeah, this, um, which I don't remember the story, but this is definitely 90s. Everyone's got a million pouches. So we're full on 90s here at this point. So it's, um, yeah, what if volume two, number 57. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my very small but cherished collection of What If books. It's pretty amazing to see Disney giving the series so much love right now. And actually, as of this taping, I haven't watched the first episode yet. So I'm not sure how much time I'll have to edit. So once this video is released, we'll see how deep in What If is. But at least at the time of this recording, only the first episode's out. And I've been looking forward uh, to watching this What If. I believe it's uh, Peggy Carter became Captain America. So really cool to see what happened during all this outcome. So doing this video definitely made me want to kind of pick up some more issues, but I'm not gonna pick them up until you hit the subscribe button. And when you do, you're gonna be informed first on when I do drop a new video and let me know either how good or terrible I'm doing or why you look sweaty. Just let me know what you guys think in the comments. So in the meantime, this is Steve from Cantu Comics signing off.